Yes, I love the new Intel NUC so much, I had to put a video out today. I've been testing this NUC for a few weeks now, and I can't believe it guys. It's been almost three years since I put a video about a review on a product. Trust me, this is warranted. I've been meaning to buy a NUC for a long time. But with a new NUC with specs like this, you don't want to miss having one. Man, an 11th gen Intel Core processor, i7 1165G7 with 12 MB for cache and up to 4.7 gigahertz. Four cores, which equals to eight threads in a max double frequency, like I said, 4.7, two uh, internal uh, Houston. drives. Houston, we have a problem. Two internal drive M.2 SSDs. This is crazy, man. Anyways, let's get to it. Let's start by unboxing. Got my little scissors here. First thing you'll see first is some foam covering um, the knock itself, but there's also a box inside, you know, basic simple stuff for boxing things. And by the way, shout out to Simply Knock for sending this out to me. I know they're sold out right now, but thank you Simply Knock. All right, it's a heavy bad boy, man. Let's get this paper out of the way. a fancy box right here let's see if I can figure out how to get the thing out Intel knock I love what they do with the box of course I haven't seen another one so <laughs> all right here goes the unit Paperwork that's uh, usual with new products. I'm not even gonna read this paperwork. I just wanna get to the thing, man. Uh oh, doesn't come out that way. Hmm. Check on the side, buddy. Come on, turn it to the side. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Oh, uh, is he gonna figure it? Ah, uh, there you go. Atta boy. All right, uh, I believe this, this is where the charger is. Yep. So we got the charger in this plastic bag. That's a... What else? What other goodies? Oh, cable. Yeah, the actual PSU. Oh, some tools. Good. All right, man, this is a heavy brick right here. Almost reminds me of my Razer charging uh, PSU. It's a, it's a decent size. Let's place that out there. Uh, normal cable, three pong. Standard US. What else we got here? Oh, that's the Allen wrench and some screws. Oh, that goes, that's a stand. I thought it was a the charging power supply, but it's a stand. Oh, what's this? A mounting plate. Oh, cool. That's good, that's good. Oh, awesome. So what these little plates can do, you can actually print your own logo in there 
and replace it with a logo that comes with a NAC. Thank you, thank you Intel for actually providing this. I was wondering how I was gonna do that. I might just print one and see if I can use it on my NAC, but gotta figure out how to do that. So let's open this and see <laughs> how many are there. Uh, just the one. Yeah, just a plain paper for printing in 3D, I guess. I have to figure out how to use this. But if you were wondering why that is in there, that is to print, make your own logo. So when this, when um, it's blinking at night or it's lighting up, it can light up with your logo instead of the skull that is on there. All right, now let's start looking at this thing from the front. And then uh, there we go. We get the SDX slot, the Thunderbolt 4, uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2, uh, uh, jack, 3.5 jack. We have the casing lock and the power button. Power button at the back. Uh, we got the DC volt and we got the mini display port, HDMI, Thunderbolt 4. And then we have four USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. And we have our Ethernet. I wish they put two there. Um, and then we have another jack over there. I wish they put two uh, Ethernets like the older gen. Uh, I believe it's the eighth gen. Uh, that's the front. Um, that's the back rubber feet. As you can see, it's the RTX 2060 for the graphic cards. Yeah, let's put this thing on a stand, see how it's gonna look like. All right, just press it in there. One thing I love about this is um, it reduces, or it gives you more walking space. Like I used to have this big old desktop and now with this, I can actually have more room and it's actually so quiet, it's unbelievable. Like once you start this thing, you don't hear any fans running. I mean, occasionally you hear a little bit, but compared to my Razer laptop, oh man, it's like day and night. The Razer just running a web browser just sounds like an engine taking off. I mean, it's crazy. Like all that money you spend on that. Anyways, let's jump into upgrading this thing. Yeah, uh, this was an Razer review. So basically you want to unscrew those are, uh, I believe, the eight screws using your Allen wrench. And once you get those out the way, you'll be able to um, open it up. I already did it. Um, my camera girl left me. I love you, babe. <laughs> Always. Um, there you go. So that's the skull. That's what I was talking about. You can actually replace that skull with a 3D painted or 3D design from that little plastic I showed you earlier. Now you need to also unscrew those other screws in there. Uh, let me get my trusted iFix toolbox. Ooh, my back is killing me. All right, let's do this. My camera girl is back. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, or oh, if you like this video so far, you know what to do. Yeah, I believe you do. If not, it's all good. It's all love here. It's all love, baby. Yeah, we gotta love one another, man. World is crazy out there. Yeah, I know I'm a slow poke. Be patient. I'll get these out. Oops, I guess, buddy. You're missing a screw, man. Come on. You gotta get that last one. There you go. Perfect. All right, let's get rid of this thing. Now, make sure you have um, anti-static wear. I didn't have one here, but I grounded myself before I started doing this. Um, reason why you can fire or you can, I don't know. 
make some things go wrong by uh, short circuiting some things. But anyways, you have two uh, DDR4 RAM sticks. I mine has 64 GB because I want to do some virtualization. And then you get uh, two slots for M.2. Uh, then you have Wi-Fi 6. There we go. I'm not going to open it at the bottom because I don't know what I'm doing. So anyways, I'm going to upgrade it with a Sabin 4 one terabyte uh, M.2. You can find this for, uh, at Amazon for like 130 ish I want to say. Can't remember the exact amount. But I will post everything down in the description. So if you're looking for that, make sure you head down there. Also, hey, check out our blog at delutedtech.com. I know it's a beginning, but uh, if you want to see some other articles, it's, um, yeah, I'm still working on it. But yeah, I'll try to post this by the time you see it. If not, just be patient. Uh, I'll add what I'll kind of parts I added or my experience so in a little more detailed come on get out the box man I'm tired it's late at night and um, just got done mowing the lawn not too long ago alright get the paperwork out the way Oh, come on, Slowpoke. Give me the good stuff. There you go. So this is a one terabyte M.2. And we're going to put it on the other slot. So when I ordered mine, I ordered with uh, 256. No operating system installed. Um, in, eventually, I'm going to run Linux on it. But I'll start off by putting my Windows until I figure out which... Uh, which distro to go with. I'm still waiting for Rocky Linux, uh, which is going to be replacing CentOS. Um, but I might run that as a virtual machine. But I start off by going with, um, let's see, what's a good distro to go with? Definitely not dipping Linux. So I don't care how beautiful it is. But if I have to find a ul -er, I mean, to sign a, UL or user agreement? Nah, not doing that. Linux should be free of charge and full of privacy. Speaking of privacy, um, got something coming. Hopefully it gets here soon and we can review it together to see how good of a privacy is. Uh, well, that's done. Man, I lost my train of thought. I don't even remember what I was talking about. But yeah, let's put this bad boy back together. Uh, gotta be careful here. I gotta make sure it's all goes in. All right, come on. I put the screws back, boy. Come on, man. Hurry up! Hurry up, man. We wanna see this thing if it works. Okay. Looks like. All right. Anyways, uh, this this is it. Uh, we did the unboxing. Uh, showed you how to upgrade with a larger hard drive. Um, I'll just poke in the BIOS a little here, so you guys can see that. Um, but hey, if you have any thoughts, if you like the video, like the video and share also we have a patreon page uh, if you're feeling generous you can always support us there now uh, of course again our blog undiludedtech.com check us out there I try to put up more blogs but you know it's kind of hard when you're running a one man show but uh yep so now let's put a uh, Back the cover, screw this baby back in, and jump to the BIOS. See what we got in the BIOS.
By the way, this, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this machine is so quiet. You're going to love it if you get one of these. All right, I always start screwing back things um, on opposite sides. It's always a good thing. So, you know, if you're doing it, just do opposite sides. All right, uh, let's get to the BIOS. Let's start this bad boy up and see how it looks like in the BIOS. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, so I leave you at the BIOS. You see the Scar logo showing up at the startup. And that's the BIOS. Hey, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, thumbs up, share the video. I'll see you in the next one. God bless you.